video that I've gotten tons of requests for. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do it. It's another cooking video. Um, this is uh, how to make toast. Um, now that you'll notice this video is coming to you in 4K resolution. First video in 4K. Last year we were filming in uh, 1080p. This rate we'll be doing virtual reality in three months. But um, you're going to need a couple things. First of all, you're going to need something to toast. In this case, I'll be using an English muffin. Um, you'll need a toast receptacle. In this case, we're using a paper towel. You need a spreading utensil, butter knife. Um, you'll need some spreads. I've got this sort of natural peanut butter, some butter here. And uh, finally, you're going to need a toaster and a source of electricity. So, um, yeah, in my case here, we're using free range electricity um, because it's got less negative aura associated with it. And um, I really think that comes through in the taste, the final product. Um, you really don't want to skimp and get um, caged electricity, it just won't do. Um, anyway, so getting started here, first thing you're going to want to do is take your toast product here and you're going to put it into the toaster. There's uh, two slots on the top. So you'll put, this is a two slot toaster, so you can do two toast items at once. Put them in. Now, uh, the real secret to toast making, the real trick to it, is uh, getting the adjustment dialed in because too much toast and it's going to burn, um, but too little and it's basically, then you're dealing with warm bread, you're not dealing with toast. So it's the trick to it really is to look at the thickness of the product that you're toasting. In this case, this English muffin is fairly thick, okay? And you're also going to want to look at the denseness of it. So as thickness and denseness increase, the amount of toasting time proportionally reaches infinity. So keep that in mind. In this case, we have a very thick, very dense product. So um, I'm going to attempt to toast this. I read about a five out of six, five and a quarter. Um, and then you're gonna push the plunger and wait for the toast to finish toasting. All right, so now you see our toast has uh, come up. And at this point, we're going to remove it from the toaster. This is a delicate act in the case of this toaster because as you see it doesn't really have that much lift on it. Some toasters have more lift. Um, the trick is to really try to use your fingertips and keep it moving because um, I'm not actually sure why but that will stop you from getting burnt. So you see that's kind of what you're going for. And if we can look here, focus in on that, you can see we really just have this beautiful crust Maillard reaction on this toast. That's the same reaction that happens when you sear the outside of a nice steak, probably. I'm not sure. So we're going to set that down on our toast receptacle and carefully retrieve the other piece. You can just see that in 4K. Now we're going to uh, coat our toast with our chosen spread. Um, in my case, I've chosen to use butter and some uh, peanut butter, which is not actually a dairy product despite the name. Um, the trick here really is even coverage and this is really kind of a two-handed operation. You just have to get a little wedge in the case of the butter. Um, some people prefer to use the buttery spreads like maybe a yogurt based thing or uh, I can't believe it's not butter. Well I can believe it's not butter. That's not a cliche I haven't ever heard. I don't know what is. But um, I'm more of an old fashioned just butter guy. And um, butter here is really what the serrated part of your knife is for. It really just helps with uh, spreading it out. And if you get some clumpage, that's fine. We're not really going for even coverage here. Um, if it's uneven coverage, you kind of get a little more interesting finished product. Now, let me just point out the excellent doneness here. I really think that's just stellar. Now, um, with a 
peanut butter product like this, you have to have to give it a stir because um, they don't put the sugar, the corn syrup in here. And um, because as a result of that, you get sort of a reduced viscosity peanut butter. But that's actually going to help us when it comes to spreading. Because a little is going to be able to go a long way when you get, in the case of the peanut butter, superbly even coverage. Look at that. Stellar. And so that's about all she wrote. Now you're eating toast like a professional. Perfect doneness, perfect spread. And that right there is a feast. I recommend pairing this with a nice cup of black coffee. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.